It's gonna be interesting. Alright, here we go. We're in full warship mode. So, war mode activates both cannons. Right off the bat, we're not in a great position here. Um, war mode costs one. So let me see. So that's going to make both cannons active, which means that this EMP slug is now going to do that, which is cool. It's very cool. So this does four now. It's pretty fun. I only have one movement. I could play this and heat sink to get out of the way. I do get double heat from that though. I do see. Flippable. Oh, so if I flip it, does it become both cannons are active? Wait. Oh, wait, so now I can switch without... I can switch for free? Oh, wow. Okay. That's a, that's an interesting one. So I get a free switch if I, if I so desire. I think I have to... I think I have to scramble here. I wish my weapons were the same distance apart as their weapons, but clearly that's not a not a thing. What is our plan here? This hits for... This hits for 6. If we war mode it up, it will hit for 12. Not enough. Not enough. I'm gonna play that. Play options for next turn. Zero out our heat. Don't need to charge beam right now. This guy's getting stronger as time goes on, though, so I'm a little concerned. Okay, I think I need to open with evasive shot. So I can get that. So now we're safe, at least. And I can get that and that going. Uh, war mode is super cool, I will say. Uh, okay, so this is going to be... This has got to be the kill. Yeah. It sort of had to be. I, I think I had run out of time on that one. Your burn. Attack for your burn. Instantly end your turn. Zero cost, though. Sidestep for zero, too, seems really good. Overpower A. For one cost, we get two overpower. With war mode, I think this is insane. I think that goes hard. kind of feel like the bottom path is slightly less favorable than the top path. Top path has a good ordering to it. Right? We're going to get the heal after we do the elite. I'm going to go top path even though it locks us in. Hello, anglerfish. How are you doing? I 
I think I'm going to do a setup turn here. So will start with that. Can we not go any further? Looks like we can't. Um, that means we're taking two there. I can mitigate one with the block. I, I wanted to get ace up. Okay. All right. Oof, ow. So we can do we can do 12 damage with parry right now. Is our stuff the same distance apart as their stuff? It's not. So I'll go like that. So we have four. So we can't do EMP slug two. We have fear as well. This card is not discarded at the end of your turn. This card will be removed at the end of combat. What, is it, what does it do? Let's war mode. Extra battery. Parry first. Wait. The place that I'm being shot from is empty? So I can't EMP slug it. Oh, that's not good. I was planning to EMP slug it. Okay, well that puts a damper on my plans. Um, kind of ruins everything, if I'm being honest. I didn't realize I couldn't EMP slug this enemy. Unfortunate. I think we're in trouble here. Why didn't I shoot all those times? I was told that I would, uh, that I would shoot all of those times. Okay, you have, you have 12 left. So if I war mode right now, I never figured out uh, what fear even does. Yeah, it's it's a little weird to me too. Um, I, I have not done the math on this, so it is distinctly possible that I am currently mortgaging our future for uh, for nothing. Looks like I am. Three. Strafe with war mode against big bosses would be a very interesting one. All right. But yeah, strafe and ace is pretty cool. You have a 10 card limit to your hand. Fear will eventually fill up your hand. Interesting. So this is a heal, a temp shield, and three heat. Gross. Uh, more draw. Okay, be something nice. Hailing research vessel. Dr. Bjorn is here. Hello, you're available for a brief test uh, invention, the Duplicatron. Duplicate it in your card. Duplicate a card in your deck four times, lose four max hull. Uh, I will duplicate a card in my deck. How about we take... I think another hot foot is pretty good. We need movement, so I think that's reasonable. Okay. I don't I don't feel like we can get out of the way of everything here. This ship also doesn't have the same spacing as our ship. I was like, can I lock it down fully with EMP blast? I cannot. I can move over to here. But I think we're better evasive shotting and moving left, and then maybe we can make something work. <laughs> I, The risk I took was calculated, but man, am I bad at math. It, that, uh, that resonates. One, two, three. And then we can get Ace out there. I think that's I think that's the best possible decision. So 
Let's get let's get our heat down. I'm absolutely offended by the lack of EMP slugs. Thank you. Okay, this guy this guy's got kind of a one track mind it seems. But that's okay cuz we have at least 50% of an answer. If we move one left, we could overpower parry. So overpower parry means we're going to do six twice. That's 12 damage. We're not there. We do not have it. We have four movement, though, so it seems like probably... We just do overpower... Perry. Yeah, let's keep our let's keep our heat in check. So we'll do that. Okay. Very little is gonna be going on here. But we'll just do we'll do that and we'll just call it. A little bit of defense, I think, would probably up this game, up our game pretty substantially. Um, EMP Slug can do six. This can do another two, four, ten. We're one off, but we have draw shot two, but can we do everything? No, we can't. Um, so I think we slow roll it, unfortunately. We can't, we can't afford the war mode, uh, the war mode tax. This does six. We need it to do one more damage. Multi-hit is plus one damage because of heat. I had lethal. Yeah, I, I... I I suspected that might be the case, but we had it anyways. Yeah, the plus one heat. Yeah, I, I need to remember that. The the artifact that we got here, the ignition coil, I have not been thinking with ignition coils. Uh, I am going to take a heat sink A again. Scoot also looked interesting, but... If we do seven damage on turn one, do we just win? Let's find out. Okay, you don't. Noted. Critical critical information was gained. You have to do it on your first shot, though, it appears. We already have three movements, so while we're in war mode, let's uh, do that. All right, let's see. If I war mode again, I think we've got it. No, yeah, we do. We've got it. I only did six. Right. Yeah, I, I, th I, the question that I was asking was if I did it on my first turn. What I ended up doing was not on my first turn. Search your discard, move a card atop your draw pile, evasive. I like the evasive shots. They've been good to us. The Daka Drum. Every five parry cards played gain a chip shot. How many parry cards do we have in our deck? Multi shots, some parries. Ah, uh, that would be, that wouldn't be too frequent. After your first attack each turn, gain one stun charge. The stun calibrator 
seems very good. But we already have stun on our EMP blast. So I'll go with the Daka Drum. We'll see. We'll see how good that actually is. Revenge Drive. Add one damage to all attacks. The first time you lose hull, gain one overdrive. Okay. The temptation here, I think, is I'm gonna go for a bit of a repair. Let's get let's get filled up. Ow my brain. Ah, you all again. An extra planer being neat. Uh, what do you have? What do you value most? Healing, damage, or evasion? So healing gives us a... Looks like a one-time use card is the, my guess for that red trash can icon. Single use, yeah. So we can gain four healing. We can gain seven damage. Or we can gain five evasion. Five evasion looks good to me. With If we can get strafe out, maybe we can like destroy the final boss that way. All right. Uh, upgrade a card. Did, was there a strafe upgrade that was just cheaper? I might just take that. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade strafe. Should we make it do more damage or cheaper? I guess we can afford to probably cast it, so we'll make it do more damage. All right, here we go. Way too eager. Here we go. Don't feel like calling it. Maybe a little, yeah. All right. Okay, so this one turns off if we just shoot it. So we just have to shoot that one to do the thing. How much is Perry doing 13 right now? I kind of feel like we just war mode Perry right now and do 26 damage. It doesn't finish it off, but it's certainly good. We can also do overpower war mode Perry, right? One, two... 26 feels like a lot. I don't... I did not mind that. We will take a point of damage. I will accept a point of damage. Now... There is... There are some problems that we have here. Uh, I think... I think I play the draw shot first. Because I needed... I needed to see if I had a way to get some movement. And it looks like I do. Okay. We're not going to get to see Strafe act much, it seems, because we're going to be... We're just going to be done here, it seems. Uh, well, we could pop Strafe and then Strafe War Mode Ephemeral Dodge. Do we think we get the kill? I that might have been the smarter play, but he, I think we I think we do this. I think we war mode strafe and then do ephemeral dodge. This is going to be weird. We we may die. Who knows? War mode strafe Dodge, yeah. So, so that's the good news. We have we have an em a non-empty slot here, a non-empty slot here, and then we're done. <laughs> you are growing stronger. You're telling me we rocked that fool. Uh, let's see, Perry or we already got a Riggs one, so we'll do a Perry or a Drake. Let's do a Drake. This is a very Drake run. Just like I'd drawn up in my brain pan. You can see your entire time stream, right? I see all. So you know I'm not a good person. Why save me? Your fate is tied to the others. Oh, I get it. You're so far above our plane of existence, you don't even understand good and evil. That's so lame. You misunderstand. I already tried to discharge your time stream into the void. I was unable to. Oh. Damn. All right. All right. So... Apparently, Drake is not a very nice person. Let's learn something about 35 days out what happened. Yeah, and what's so special about it? 
Sounds like just another derelict. No, this one is different. The sensor readings are off the charts, literally. What sensors, what charts? Oh, I don't know. I stole this sensor array from a science vessel. I have no idea how to use it. Ah, right. By the way, this is Smith. But the lights were going crazy. There's something special about uh, about it for sure. All right, I'll snoop around and see what I can get out, find out there. Oh, okay, we got two time frames. Oh, we got Mr. Walrus face. Brimford. Eunice? The regular? No, I'm cutting back. Just want a quadruple espresso. You're going soft. Watch it, old man. You only come here when you need something. What is it? There's a big ship loitering in the nebula, 20 parsecs from here. Yeah, what about it? You know about it? Yeah. It's an unregistered craft with an experimental propulsion system. Hard to know exactly what, but it sounds like a very lucrative target. How do you know all that? Some possum girl was here, uh, was in here blabbing about it. She runs deliveries from all over it. Ah, that's Riggs, I believe. Riggs? Yep. Hmm. All right. But there's our, there's our next win. Uh, we, we add strafe war mode. Uh, I will say the, where was, where was the Ares Cannon V2 upgrade? Ooh, that's a, that's a tasty upgrade. That's really fun. 